Okay, welcome back to Wind Waker. We're here with, uh, Medley. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Baloo, he became so angry, and in his rage he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Death. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me about it. Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn in Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Baloo's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave. She dead? You keep saying was. And surpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I had possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt some more secure. Like, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get right up there. Oh, so you already have scale. So, will you help me? No. Oh, please, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. It's just that I'm not that good at flying yet. So, will you help me? No. Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. Atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back. Throw as hard as you can. Do I just throw from here? Whoops. Sorry, miss. I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. Was I saying? Oh yeah, once once more. With the wind. Toss away, please. Do 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 do. So I think it's either when it's not moving. Oh, come on. It's pulling backwards. Just waiting for it to not move at all. Oh, you can't climb. Since when did you become triplets? I'm five. I'm I'm file. <laughs> Fine. Okay, now, I think I have to do it from the other side. No, because I have to climb... Oh, it's on this rock. That's what it is. Okay. So do we want it to be blowing that way? Does it blow that way? It blows left and right. I know it blows towards me. Does it blow away from me? Yes, it does. Perfect. Finally. Jeez. Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali, because he's so nice. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Toss it. Bottle. Fairies. You can catch fairies. Oh, please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Um. Why is there. Okay, can I break this rock? No. So, from here, I don't exactly remember what to do. I thought she'd actually let me in. Um, there we go. Okay, so there's no bomb plants. There's supposed to be bomb plants here. They need water. Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do. Get that bottle. Fill that bottle with some water. Pour that shit on bomb plants. Bomb plants will have water. Can I pour it on my grandma? I don't know if it'll help. Don't 
don't miss. Okay, do I only get one chance of this? Perfect. Nailed it. Mid-air detonation and everything. Okay, so now we have water. We can swim across. I think. So it's interesting with how fast it fills up, but it doesn't continue beyond a certain point. Like, I guess you can explain it as there's cracks or gaps somewhere that it reaches and drains outwards in the ocean, but... Can't really see that. Of course, I could just be, you know, less critical of a 18-year-old Nintendo game. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. One dollar. I think these... I think these need to, like, land on this. Or close, I guess. Can I jump with them? Not close enough. Okay. So I feel like I, I feel like I come at these these games and not just uh oh. Not just this one, but a lot of them, where I, I start it with a lot of energy because they're they're my favorites, and like I tell you guys all about them. But then I find that I I don't necessarily run out of information or excitement, but it's it's less I'm less uh, energetic towards the end of them. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know if that's just me. It could very well just be me. Um, I don't always have a lot to say. It really depends on who I'm talking to, but. Or what I'm talking about. Ow. It's gonna kill me. Okay. There we go. Um, so, I mean, I, I try to find things to talk about. Like, I, I'm trying not to talk about this game specifically at the moment just because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, I can talk about what I'm seeing, but at the moment, it's not very much. Um... Don't remember this puzzle. Not sure what to do. Oh, I just have to pull him out. Give me dollars. I don't want... Heart. Heart dollar. You'll now notice that the key symbol in the bottom right has come up because I've entered a dungeon. Okay, so... What does the right one do? I can't pull it? No, it's just stuck there. Okay. Okay, so there's a couple things in this room that will appear in later rooms as well, or later dungeons. Not sure if that fire hurts me when I walk into it. Um... Okay, I need to light those torches. I now have this stick. Which is on fire. So get up here. Eh. And eh. It's interesting that, like, this teleportation kind of thing works, like this magic. When, uh... When you get a, a chest, can I just open it? It's one thing that's really good in Breath of the Wild that you can open treasure chest from any angle, not just directly in front of it. Smoky. Do I need this for anything else? I don't think so. Can I break pots with this? I guess not. You know what? I've been I've been really stupid with the, the pots, haven't I? Just use my fucking sword. Some idiot. I think one of those pots had water in it. Oh, so initially, if you if you watched my Metroid uh, playthrough yet, I'm not sure which one I'll publish first. Um, that was my my first trial for this uh, for GameCube stuff, and I was having some crackling issues with my audio. I mentioned uh, fix that. That was me being stupid when I plug in my headset into my TV. I'm not plugging it in the whole way. So that was a simple solution, and that's solved now. Okay, 
So this will probably just spit us back out, I believe. Yeah. So these are teleportory. These are teleportor. These are teleportation um, cauldrons, for lack of a better word. Can I break rocks with my sword? No. Um, they. You can open uh, points later on, and they will uh, give you shortcuts through the dungeon. They're really useful. Um, I, it's it's a great thing to have in this kind of game. Okay, time for the main room. Oh, skulls. I can break skulls. I'm so glad these are here. I guess these are bird people skulls? Because there shouldn't be that many humans in here. Oop, almost fucked up that jump. Okay, so this is a little thing here. Gotta pull this out because can't continue without it. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that one appeared here. Okay, bats. Fuck you. Other bat. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Back at the entrance. Every time I do that. Health. Health. All the bats respawn? Damn it. At least I'll live. Stuff that can give me health response too. Why did that make it sound like I got hurt? What happened? Okay, I'm just gonna avoid the bats for now. I don't have any long-range weapons, which makes this really annoying. Okay, that's one. The other one leave, because that's totally fine with me. I'm getting crackling audio on my headset. Hopefully it's just the headset, not the game. You will notice many jugs of water here. They have a purpose. Their purpose is this. Now, I don't know how long these last. This one also looks like it's partially in the lava. Grab this. Hopefully it's a key, maybe? Or it's a map or a compass. I think you usually get the map first. It's the map. Another one to go back, because I think they disappear. Yep, they disappear after a little while. Can I make that jump? Yes. Okay, that's all I need here. I hear you, but I'm going to choose to ignore you. Oh, see ya. <laughs> There's like little shelves here. Are they useful? No, just some, just some pots. Okay. These are special things. Um, I think I can break them with the machete as well, but I don't remember. If not, you can grab like a like when I was using the lit stick earlier. Oh god, joy pen that's um they uh you can you can light them on fire and burn through them or you can pick up one of these and smash right through it. Perfect. Can I climb? Okay, one hit, perfect. That's what I like. As far as I'm not getting there, it is. There's the chew jelly. This stuff always looked appetizing to me. I don't know why. Gelatinous goo. Maybe it's the shape. Another small key. So I think I'm still on a linear path for this dungeon at the moment. Guys are a single hit, I guess. Ooh, okay, we got an orb. Yeah, all the shit. Doesn't last very long though. 
Um, but the orbs will stick around for a little while. Okay. We got, we got some pots. Don't really need them. Oh, yes I do. That's what I have to do. Shit. Is hit one of these bombs with pot. And that'll set it off, which will blow up the rock. Oh, obviously later if you get the bow, you can totally just do that on an arrow. Oh, this is that was a shortcut. Okay, I've got a, a full 360 around the room, and now I've got my key. Collect all this. You can make like health potions out of this later. Okay, can't get. In oh wait, is that just damaged? Hey, dickhead. So this is this is what I was talking about. Light this shit on fire. Eh. Push button and door opens. Oh, we're outside. Yeah, there's lots of, like, indoor and outdoor sections for this dungeon. Um, you're a bird. Birds suck. Because uh, the fun thing about this dungeon and the exterior areas is that uh, you can just fall off and have to start again. Oh, that's a, that's a lava spew coming out there. Up? No, uplink. So I'm holding left on the controller right now, even though I'm going up. Okay. Ow, ow, dick. Oh, really? If anything's gonna knock me off, it's gonna be one of these. What the fuck just hurt me? The steam? I didn't realize the steam could actually hurt me. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up. Not attack. Okay, how close can I get to this thing? It's pretty much all the time I've got for this episode. I'll, I'll continue along this ledge, but uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, this series so far, uh, please let me know by either watching this video or all these videos, giving them a like. If uh, if there's enough support, view count on these, I will uh, consider doing some more of them. Oh, fuck me. Please just kill me. Please just kill me. Thank you. That way I just start at the door again. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoy this... Really, the bird respawns? The worst of the two enemies... Can I do it? Can I go for it? I'm going for it. I think I made it. I'm good. Fuck you, bird. Suck. Ow. Oh, you can stun him. Interesting. Didn't know that. Yeah, so I will, uh... I will save here once I get to the next section inside. So when I meet you guys, I will probably be there unless something happens in the meantime. And then I'll just stay where I am. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.